you think you've heard about the KISS years and the KISS stage shows and the spectacle is true. It's not a legend. We're going to show every new band how the big boys do it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Right Between the Eyes podcast, a KISS podcast with three generations of KISS fans telling you why we love it loud. I'm your host, Rob Myers, and this is a solo video tonight as I am recording this. This is an unboxing video as you are getting ready to, or as you have clicked, obviously, it's late, folks, as you've clicked on the bottom, uh, that it's an unboxing video. So obviously the Caruso's aren't here tonight, and we've been trying to utilize the YouTube channel uh, more to do full episodes or preview episodes. So the last episode that you probably saw was the preview for episode 37, which is the boot that hopefully you've already heard that episode as we talk about a bootleg we discovered from the Dynasty Tour. So if you haven't heard that, check the link below and that'll be here. So like I said, we're trying to use the YouTube channel a little bit more to do, you know, exclusive videos or preview videos or unboxing. So I think at some point the Caruso's will probably do some unboxing videos. Send me the video, I'll edit it, and you'll get to see them open stuff. So this is currently, as I we're recording this, it's 8.07 on the 28th. Uh, 2022 is almost going to be a distant memory. Just in a few days, we'll be in 2023, if you can believe that, which... By the time you're watching this, it should already be 2023. So hopefully the Christmas holiday season and the new year uh, treated you well. It's it's late, folks, but I wanted to open this. So this is the first uh, record, as you can tell. It's definitely a record. It's vinyl. This is the first one that I bought from Rolling uh, Rollin Records. I've seen the record spinner do a few unboxings from them, and he's been very pleased with uh, what they have. Uh, they do some exclusive bootleg stuff, and I'm not sure where they're acquiring these from. They also sell original releases, CD, vinyl, and this thing. So I saw it on, I'm going to give a little shout out to Shout It Out Loudcast, their Loudcasters page. This particular item is in the early part of December went up on Roland Records and I think it was 80 bucks and of course right at the time at Christmas didn't have the extra funds because we're buying Christmas presents yada yada Seinfeld reference and I had to pass on it I thought I don't know if I'm ever going to see this again probably at some point but this particular item the original one goes anywhere from 200 upwards I've seen it as high as a thousand dollars and I've seen it around 500 I've seen it average lately anywhere between the 250 to 300 and that's a lot to pay for a vinyl record and it's one I would really have to convince the wife to do and of course she would say no but I saw like I said this particular one I saw for 80 bucks and I was able to purchase this one for 50 bucks it was like 49.88 I believe was the total on their website, which I thought was, heck, even $40 cheaper than from when somebody had posted it on the Loudcasters page. And no, it's not Sonic Boom, because if you've watched uh, Xander and I's vinyl video, I do have an actual copy of Sonic Boom. So what could this possibly be? I'm really excited. We'll get into it in just a second, but I wanted to catch my live reaction in case this goes horribly wrong, that somebody can go, ha <laughs> you shouldn't have bought that. Or if it goes right, somebody's going to go, ooh, I'd like to pick one of those up. So let's get into this. Hopefully this is where we don't break it. I'm really excited about getting this. And Xander and I talked on our vinyl episode, RBTEV1, that this is probably going to be something that is just probably going to elude our collection. Uh, Pasquale from Kiss Army Nation has one of these, and he said he was very pleased with his copy. So, it's black. Can you see the blood right there? Oh, what could it be? Kiss Alive 4. Kiss Alive 4, folks. How in the world did you get Kiss Alive 4 for 50 bucks? Well... If you, it's listed as uh, Sanctuary Records, Kiss Online, 2003. My gosh, if this is the real thing, I'll be really surprised. This is, I believe, a counterfeit. Some people might call it a bootleg. 
it's supposed to be a colored vinyl, and from everything that we know about this particular Reese, Reese, release, that it was only available in the Kisteria box set. So any other versions of this that you see on eBay, if they're saying they're legit, are from the Kisteria box set. It did have an original pressing in 2003, but it was very limited. And I always thought that was so odd for this record, being it's Kiss Alive 4. Original Alive 4 was going to be the Millennium Show, as we know, and that got repackaged into the Kiss Alive box set as Kiss the Millennium Concert. So their biggest albums, where you think this is their one of their biggest uh, live albums, it does go within the family of the live albums. So you would think at least that Universal and Kiss would try and keep all of the live albums, one, two, three, and four of a symphony, in relatively easy ease to be able to pick them up on all of their mediums. Of course, you can listen to it on Spotify and you know Apple Music and all that. But CD, the original. The CDs and then the original pressing. The original pressing was decently priced, and then for the Kisteria, it's almost going to cost you an arm and a leg to try and get a hold of this. Some people have found it uh, easier, around you know a hundred bucks, but generally the going ballpark for this is right around two fifty to five hundred dollars, depending on who. Like I said, I've even seen it on eBay going as high as a thousand bucks. So it's almost right up there with you wanted the best, you got the best, and then Sonic Boom. So I won't rattle on too long, so I want to at least open up. I I think because this is, you know, not an official and it's a counterfeit, um, I'm going to be perfectly happy with this because this is probably the only way I'm going to get this in my collection to say I have a copy of it on vinyl where my vinyl collection of Kiss albums is almost going to be complete unless I start going down, you know, variants and, you know, get the Czechoslovakian cover or, you know, pressing and, and those type of things. So, you know, here's the CD version in the back. The one thing I do want to pay attention to is the inside of this, the welcome to the show. And it's been a while since I've opened up the actual CD. So, you know, of course, we've all seen this. So that's the live shot that should be in the gatefold. If I remember correctly, I'll try and put up an image of the gatefold, the proper gatefold from the vinyl here. I think the inside of this gatefold might be from the tour of, you know, the, the Motley Crue, Def, or the Motley Crue uh, Kiss tour, where we, they were calling it the tour. Or it could be an end of the road type of a thing. So I think I've rattled on here enough. Let's get this puppy open. And I'm just, I'm happy. If all I have is a counterfeit for the rest of my life, and I can say I have a vinyl version of a Life 4, I don't flip and care. I, I think it's, I don't even know what the right word I want to use here at 814, that it's, again, I can't talk. I'm tired. <laughs> it's been a long holiday season, folks. You would think of all the albums that KISS should be keeping in circulation, the Alive albums should be. I know they don't keep all of them. You know, that's the thing. They release a different version every few years. But, man, this feels... It's got a great glossy cover to it. All right, so let's take a look. Yep, I was correct, because there is Tommy Thayer and Eric Singer. So there we go. Definitely 100% counterfeit. I do not care. So yeah, that is definitely from the end of the road. Again, I don't give two flying figs. So I don't know if you saw, I pulled out. They got the at least a version of, again, I'll have to check and see what the center labels actually look like. So I don't know how the uh, records were actually stored in the proper vinyl, but this third one was just sitting in the middle of the gatefold. So the other two albums in the set are in the actual jacket themselves. No booklet, no anything like that. So let's set this down before I launch it off. 
And all the records, I believe, are the exact same as far as color. They're saying, ooh, exclusive color. Of course, there was no color. So this is a marbled looking, which is really kind of cool. Reminds me of the Revenge album the H and H pressings did the marble look and this also kind of reminds me of the Kiss Online exclusive for the Revenge album. It's less shiny silver. So again, like I said, I am completely happy with this. I'm I'm actually really kind of giddy right now. Um again, if these are also counterfeit labels, I don't know if they got scans of the original or not. Or just use the generic artwork. Again, it works for me. I'll try to put up images here. That's about it for this video. I know it's going to be short and sweet. Um, it's it's done very, very well. I mean, yes, I kind of wish the person that was doing this would have tried to get the, you know, at least the lineup of Gene, Tommy, Peter, and Paul. But I'm not going to lie, my boy, <laughs> Eric Singer's in the shot, even though he wasn't in this formation of the band. That's one of those kiss what-if moments for me. What if Eric Singer had been in the band in 2003? Would the set list have been different than what it was, or would it have been the same? Maybe that's a topic for another day that we could discuss on the show, maybe when we actually review this album. So it's going to be cool to have all four Kiss Alive albums in my collection. Again, I know it's counterfeit. I really don't care. This is one of those times if somebody says, you should go out and you should support the band and you should buy the actual album. You show me where to buy it for a reasonable price and I will gladly. If Kiss Online releases this in 2023 as an official release, you better believe I'm going to scoop it up. But my money's on. They're probably not going to. And this may be one of the only ways to do it. So I'll put the link down where I got this album. They got plenty of other stuff. And once I saw this was dropped at my door today, being the 28th, I saw that they had a Crazy Nights 2014 release. And that's official and everything like that. So I put that on my cart because I was missing that from my Kiss collection. So this is one very, very happy Kiss fan. Um, they got all the... Legalese, I think, right down here. So I'll have to kind of compare. And uh, I don't know if the barcode <laughs> is theirs or it's the actual uh, vinyl barcode. But at least as far as the front and back are concerned, um, this is great. I don't remember if the front was raised. Again, I don't, I don't have it, so I don't know. But that's where we're going to end this video. Thanks for tuning into this unboxing. Hopefully we'll do more of these on this channel. Hopefully get the Carusos doing some unboxing as, as well. But if you haven't liked uh, the page or click that subscribe button, do so right now so you can stay up to date on all of our preview episodes, all of our full YouTube exclusive episodes that you won't hear on the audio podcast. And this is a nice uh, supplementary thing to the audio podcast, which the link for our audio podcast is down below on our uh, Simplecast page uh, that hosts our show. And then any, any podcatcher that you listen to, you can find us there audio-wise as well. On the behalf of Nick and Nico, who are not here, this is a very tired Rob at 8.20 p.m. on the 28th, wishing you guys Happy New Year, and we will see you guys on the next episode. I believe the next one is going to be the Creatures of the Night 40th anniversary. We're going to dive into all that content. Okay, I'm going to go. See you guys. Bye.